Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Import Export Hub channel everybody. Bogdan here, your biased host for the next uh, couple of minutes. Uh, thanks for joining me and uh, watch me while I'm perorating about the imports and the exports. Uh, guys, I hope that you are all doing great and without begging you for some uh, clicks, allow me to cover in this episode the uh, United States import dynamics from Vietnam uh, between uh, 2014 and uh, 2023. As I know, there are a lot of debates of, of, around uh, free and shoring or China plus one strategy and so on. And consequently, I decided to put my research skills into practice for you. You and uh, prepare uh, some data about how the U.S. imports from Vietnam uh, developed in these last 10 years. And uh, by all means, guys, uh, please consider uh, that uh, this is not an exhaustive research. Um, context here has a lot to do as uh, numerous Chinese companies relocated part of their manufacturing in Vietnam. So consider this uh, an indicator rather than an actual on the field research. So with this uh, being said, I've uh, split my analysis in three sheets, basically. Uh, one, considering the top uh, 20, 20 headings that experienced an year over year absolute positive change uh, based on import values. The other considers the top 20 absolute negative changes, again, on a dollar value. And the third one here, uh, considers the products with the lowest variation in imports, so the ratio between the standard deviation and average, so the coefficient of variation basically. And uh, we can say that for uh, the products listed there, we can uh, consider them as having an embedded competitive advantage. So without uh, losing uh, precious time here, guys, let's start with the year over year. So basically 2023 versus 2022, uh, top uh, 20 absolute positive changes. And the largest uh, change happened in relation with uh, PCs and laptops, basically, heading 8471, who saw a 5.2 two billion dollars absolute positive change which is huge if you ask me and uh, if you corroborate with the compound annual growth rate for the last uh, 10 5 and uh, 3 years this is truly impressive then on the second spot we have uh, diodes uh, transistors and the like so heading 8541 who saw 1.5 billion dollars expansion almost uh, and again we see an impressive uh, compound annual growth rates with 224 and 32.6% uh, respectively then we have heading 9801 uh, most probably imports of articles exported and then returned back to the US uh, where uh, labor intensive activities were made uh, maybe some change in uh, customs level uh, happened or not uh, and here we see an absolute positive change of some 483.5 uh, million dollars. Television sets saw also an impressive change, some 307 million dollars from, I don't know, 5 million dollars in 2015 to what, uh, 1.6 billion dollars in 2023. It's a really impressive achievement. Then the list uh, continues with, I don't know, um, electrical machines, uh, washing machines or vacuum cleaners. And uh, this heading two registered an impressive positive dynamic from $9 million in 2014 to what, $700 million in 2023. So quite impressive. Uh, then we have a clothing related heading. 6106 so we're talking about women's or girls blouses and shirts who saw an year on year change of uh, 111 million dollars uh, then we have cash registers uh, and the pocket calculators with 107 million dollars absolute positive change uh, we continue with fats and oils and their fractions of fish or uh, marine mammals we see afterwards uh, radar apparatus and navigational aid apparatus with uh, what 88 million dollars absolute positive change printed books brochures uh, leaflets and uh, similar printed matter is another heading 
which is particularly interesting as we see only what five hundred thousand dollars worth of imports in uh, 2014 and uh, 10 years later we have some 84 million dollars uh, resulting in a 60 percent compound annual growth rate and uh, finally the last few headings in this top 10 list are tube pipes and the uh, hollow profiles of iron or steel with almost 52.5 million dollars absolute positive change air conditioners is on the 19th spot with 48.8 million dollars um, appliances for pipes ends this top 10 the list with uh, 48.5 million dollars absolute positive change so uh, relative to 2022 and we see here a compound annual growth rate for these uh, last 10 years around 16 percent Moving now, guys, to the largest absolute negative changes, we see here that uh, heading 8517 had the largest change, some $4.87 billion, but it is still on the positive territory in what concerns the compound annual growth rate. Furniture follows with a $2.1 billion contraction and a negative compound annual growth rate for the last uh, five years. And uh, personally, my guess is that uh, it will regress to pre-pandemic values, so around $4.55 billion, give or take, while footwear with uppers of textile materials registered the third largest absolute negative change of 1.7 billion dollars here with a worrying negative compound annual growth rate for the last uh, five years no sorry three years around 3.5 percent other products that uh, made it to this um, shame list let's say um, include sweaters pullovers and uh, sweatshirts with a negative 1.35 billion dollars year over year then we see another footwear related heading but this time we have the uppers uh, made of leather with uh, 732 million dollars contraction we see electronic integrated circuits with uh, 541 million dollars contraction from i don't know 1.9 billion dollars in 2022 to 1.35 billion dollars in 2023 what else do we see we see flat rolled iron or non-alloy steel with uh, 526 million dollars contraction fish fillets and other fish meat uh, who saw a 46 percent contraction year over year then we have seeds uh, plywood or toys puzzle or uh, scale models with almost 300 million dollars contraction and the same um, value applies more or less uh, guys to electric generating sets who saw a huge spike beginning with 2020 2021 then we have uh, men's or boys suits uh, with uh, 284 million dollars contraction uh, travel goods and vanity cases follows with uh, 281 million dollars contraction we see also printing machinery which uh, ranks uh, relatively low 18th in this top 20 list with uh, 230 million dollars contraction while uh, women's or girls' suits, so heading 6204, saw a $215.8 million contraction from $2 billion in 2022 to $1.8 billion in 2023, but still showing a positive compound annual growth rate for the last five years while on the 20th spot we see here um, heading 9504 so video games consoles and machines with a 210 million dollars contraction most probably regressing to 450 uh, 450 million dollars in the next uh, three to five years so guys these were the largest absolute negative changes uh, with a quick uh, visual here um, with um, this chart and basically we have uh, three headings coming from the electronic sector 
three from footwear and three headings from the clothing sectors while the rest uh, cover the remaining headings and uh, guys because i i don't like to, to cover just the extremes as i've told you earlier i thought uh, it's worth um, diving a little bit into the headings that saw the lowest variation in terms of absolute figures in order to um, test my theory and uh, as you can see from the chart here two particular sectors uh, where Vietnam has a strong competitive advantage so articles of apparel uh, either or not knitted or crocheted so chapter uh, 61 and uh, chapter 62 are among the headings with the lowest variability uh, considering this last uh, 10 years so I can say that uh, this quick analysis gives you a pretty good estimate about what sectors have an embedded competitive advantage in uh, Vietnam's exports of course considering that um, context has a really really important um, aspect here so let's quickly pass through the headings here and the lowest variability for uh, Vietnam's exports towards the US uh, was registered by heading 6809 six, so we're talking about articles of plaster or of uh, compositions based on plasters who has the smallest coefficient of variation in this list travel goods, uh, vanity cases, uh, binocular and camera cases, uh, handbags, wallets and similar articles follows closely with a coefficient of variation of 0.13. Then we have clothing related headings, uh, t-shirts and uh, women's overcoats with a coefficient of variation of 0.136 and 0.145 respectively. Ceramic articles follows, uh, then we see babies' garments and men, men's uh, shirts. Rubber thread and cord is also present here, so heading 5604. And the list goes on with a couple of clothing-related headings, and it ends with heading 7102, so uh, diamonds, uh, whether or not worked, but not mounted or said with a coefficient of variation of 0.18 and the compound annual growth rate for the last five years around two percent and uh, for me at least uh, at least um, it's pretty interesting as i wouldn't have expected vietnam to have a strong competitive advantage in this particular sector but anyways uh, guys these were uh, vietnam's top 20 headings with uh, an embedded competitive advantage let's say if you want uh, the file don't hesitate uh, to contact me you just have to send me an email and of course i will send you the excel file um, for me that's it for today thanks for watching i really hope you've liked it don't forget to hit those small vanity buttons below this video and as usual until next time keep your business safe thanks